Hi everybody, this is City Readings and this reading is going to be for Cancer, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what are the messages that pop out for you guys. This is going to be for Cancer. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what do we have for you guys, Cancer. You can check out the link in the description box to find out what's happening next between you and your person. How are they thinking, feeling about you? Their next moves towards you, outcome of the situation between the two of you. Advice, oracle messages, love notes, guidance from spirit and any other messages that you may need will be in that video as well as your self-love message. Let's see what comes up for Cancer. Oopsie, okay. The Hierophant came in the reverse. Um, it kind of fell like this, but it go in the reverse as it fell. So I do see an issue here, but we will see what this is about. What is this about? The Ten of Pentacles. A situation here does not seem to be stable enough for whatever reason, okay? It's not seeming stable. It's not seeming nice, okay? It's not seeming like it has a firm foundation whatsoever. I think you've thought enough about the situation. You've spent your time analyzing, guessing, uh, what's gonna happen next here? How are things gonna unfold here? Let me just go take the lead. And things didn't work out that way. So what I'm getting here is that you were quite in your head about this situation, okay? Um, you were wanting for the situation to perhaps unfold in a certain way. Um, but I really feel like this also talks a lot about um, anxious thoughts, okay? I feel like in the past few months, um, you guys have really struggled with anxiety and anxious thoughts, okay? Let's see. And there's a connection that just seems to stress you out to no end okay it just seems to be the case the ten of wands so next few months are going to encourage you to release okay release what doesn't feel right release what feels burdening to you energetically um and i feel like it will push you push you to release um, until you do it. Certain times we don't really release certain situations, certain energies until we are pushed to do it. And at that time, you're not really willing to make that change happen. But the universe, again, pushes us in that direction. And I feel like that is what is going to happen to you. The five of pentacles. See, until you leave it, until you leave it. I think in the past you were trying here, you were trying too hard in something until it seemed like it's, um, you know, it is what it is, okay? It's not that, um, it's like that energy where you were trying to go ahead and fix something and then it, of course, didn't get fixed, but it almost backfired on you, okay? Uh, so leaving that situation. It's almost like you were showing up in a certain situation, almost like blindsided, okay? Um, 
trying to do something that you never like you never had an idea where it is going to take you okay we have the king of wands i see you standing up again this is a very passionate energy this could be somebody coming towards you as well yeah i strongly feel like there's somebody coming towards you as well um and this is you as well okay so i feel like whoever is coming towards you this person is gonna arrive when you won't be looking for them so in the next few months like i said first of all these uh energies will encourage you to the energies will encourage you to release okay to heal as well as focus on yourself gaining your confidence back there could be some issues with the money, but it is good because you will, it will push you to try something new. Um, perhaps some of you already need to control your spending habits. Okay. Yeah, I see you. Okay, for a lot of you, I see you in that energy where you're wanting to be single when you're, when you're you know, you're not wanting to be interrupted here in your energy. Some of you feel like, you know, I have everything, but not the one that I'm looking for. Okay, why is being in a relationship ship such an issue? Um, something like that. But what I really feel like is happening here, um, I feel like you're looking forward to a better future here, which is nice. I see you looking forward to a new start. Okay, and I see that happening for you here, Cancer. We have the high priestess energy here. So what I'm getting here is that this is also talking about trusting your intuition when it comes to something, okay? I will also be picking out oracle messages for you and what to expect in the future. So stick around till the end for that. Let's see. Let's pick your cards first. What to expect in the future for cancer. I'm going to reveal these cards towards the end, okay? Okay. This is what to expect in the future for you guys. Now let's see what's coming up here. What is the Three of Wands and the High Priestess talking about? Yikes, I see a lot of healing going on here, okay? I see, I see a union here with somebody, but at the same time, I'm seeing healing here. I do see somebody coming up with communication here. There's a lot of Aries Leo Sag energy here for you. But I'm also seeing that this is about communication as well as healing. I see you releasing something. Okay, I see you walking away and you you feel very called to do it. Ooh, the nine, nine of swords energy. So something has stressed you out to no end here. And it's almost like this is a big release. This is that big renewal energy where you may have felt a certain way about a certain situation, but the energies are pushing you to find your answer within okay tell me more about the eight of cups what is that about the strength absolutely it's uh walking away is not easy for you but you will still do it okay in the next few months i see you releasing i see you walking away i see you healing uh very important that you heal, heal yourself before you open up to a relationship again with the strength energy i feel like you are blessed to have this inner strength already within you it's just that you sometimes don't pay attention to your intuitive messages okay and you tend to doubt yourself i see you in a very powerful position but that power is coming with time right now i see you in that emotional kind of like you know ups and downs kind of an energy but going into the future up until july and august i see you regaining that power regaining that strength and really moving forward with your life and very enthusiastic um energy okay 
so for you, uh, this Leo season is going to be significant. So July, August is going to be significant. Even your own season, we have June, July, and August, okay? Let's see. Oopsie. I dropped something. Um, three of swords. Oh my goodness, your person's energy. Feeling heartbroken. <sighs> Feeling heartbroken. Missing you. Okay. Six of Cups, Five of Swords. Oh my goodness. This is somebody who truly, truly misses you. And if this person did something wrong here, just know, Cancer, that they're well aware of it. They know that they did you wrong. They miss you. For some of you, there's a childhood friend of yours that you have separated from. Or this connection seems, seems to be a connection where you've known each other for a long time. If not, then it feels like you've known somebody for a long time, okay? There's a sense of belonging here, but this person misses you. They're feeling heartbroken over what happened between the two of you, okay? This is happening a little bit in the future. This realization is not coming in just, you know, like that. It's happening a little bit in the future, okay? Now, let's see. Queen of Cups, wow. Let's see what to expect in the future for Cancer. Do check out the extended version of this reading link down below for further details about where is the situation going and what to expect as well as guidance from Spirit. Okay, your self-love message as well. Okay, what to expect. Um, oh my goodness. The signs in this reading, by the way, are Pisces, Taurus, Leo, Libra, Virgo, okay, Capricorn. So what I'm getting here is that mm -mm. I see you growing. I see you expanding. Birds are messengers. Uh, so I feel like there will be a message delivered to you. Okay, somebody's coming in in your life. But like I said, this change, this communication or something changed is going to happen in your life and you're going to be in the best of your energy and when you will when you will not be even expecting it okay so with the empress it talks about self-confidence and stuff like that as well with the devil right next to the empress this is your own temptations this is dealing with your own inner demons um something is brought been brought up to the surface here and i feel like there's a certain connection that tends to do that for you perhaps it's a soulmate twin flame connection where you're forced to look within yourself for answers, okay? King of Swords and the Ace of Cups. I actually see you detaching and right when you will detach and decide to let go is when there's a new beginning in love. So I see a new beginning in love for you. Again, I'm going to say that this is happening when you are the most detached and when you're the most in your logical thinking, okay? I'm not sure when this will happen, but to me, it looks like in the future, you will reach a point because you're already deciding to walk away. I feel like in the future, you will reach a point where you will be very money focused, very logical with your thinking ahead of a hot approach towards things and boom, new love will show up for you with the Ace of Cups, okay? So a lot to expect in the future, um, a lot of emotional growth I see, okay? There's also somebody who is very, um, who has a very lusty energy towards you, okay? And this energy is very strong. The devil energy, for some reason, it's seeming very, very strong in your reading. So this could be, indicating towards a lot of different things perhaps there's something you're well aware of that you need to let go of it but you keep dealing with this person what is it about something needs to be addressed here emotionally for you cancer for things to move forward smoothly in another direction perhaps okay let's see there's a new beginning for sure in love. Walking away. Absolutely. See you walking away. 
You two will end up together. Absolutely, yeah, I see a union here. Soulmates, this is a soulmate connection, um, Cancer. It's a soulmate connection, which I could sense from the reading that this is a connection where it tends to be very emotionally adventurous for you. Lots of ups and downs. And by no means am I saying if somebody has been abuse, abusive, abusive towards you, then that is not a soulmate twin flame connection. You are heavily, heavily mistaken. OK, uh, don't go after that person. I do not promote that in my readings and I never will. And I, I don't think anybody does, but uh, just for your information. OK, this is somebody who is very in and out of your life. OK, this is somebody like you feel a strong connection to them. They feel a strong connection to you. But for some reason, things don't seem to work out here. Um, that is the, that is the person we're talking about. But I also feel like there's a renewal in your love situation. So like I said, this is almost like a roller coaster ride in the next few months, especially in love. OK. And I feel like some of you are putting in a lot of effort towards your self-love, towards your journey as a person, okay? A lot of emotional healing going on here for you personally as well, Cancer, okay? What do we have for Cancer? What do we have for Cancer? We have attraction and reconciliation. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and then we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. I feel the need to pull one more. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Somebody here wants another chance with you for sure. Somebody from the past is strongly returning. They may even correct their ways. Who knows? We will see when that happens. But there's a strong reconciliation. Why? Why? Because you, you two are still energetically connected to one another. Okay. There's a very, very strong bond here that I'm sensing uh, that there is between you and somebody. Okay. What do we have for cancer, please? <clears throat> Believe in the impossible. Almost all signs that I've done up to now have gotten this card. So believing in the impossible, new things will unfold for you. Never lose hope. Take time to breathe out. Don't get burned out. Um, take rest when needed and see how things unfold for you. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Do give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you learned something. And also check out the extended version, which will be linked in the description box for you guys to know what's happening next in the connection. And just a heads up for what are the energies that are coming up in your life and what does spirit have to say for you in terms of your self-love message and other stuff as well. So do check it out. We'll be linked below along with your 2021 forecast cancer. Okay, take care of yourself and bye-bye.